Hey, what's going on guys? Nick Karen here with the Fantasy Football Swagger Show. And guys, right now what I want to talk to you about is the hilarious and sad news regarding New York Jets quarterback, Geno Smith. Yeah, if you haven't heard, if you've been living under a rock, Geno Smith got his jaw broken in practice the other day by a teammate. Uh, and actually, technically, it was after practice, it sounds like. But the point being here is that Geno Smith is going to miss the vast majority of the season. We're talking probably 10 or more weeks. And uh, basically, Geno Smith is completely untouchable in fantasy football. Not that he was somebody you really wanted in fantasy to begin with. But, you know, some people had him as a low-end QB2 in, in two quarterback leagues. Regardless, we're looking past that at this point. Uh, and really what we have to do is talk about the fact that he is going to be out. And what is it going to mean for the wide receivers here on the New York Jets? Now, obviously, the acquisition of Brandon Marshall was something that a lot of people would have been very, very excited about within the Jets franchise and uh, really throughout the NFL. Brandon Marshall was one of the best receivers over the past few seasons and really has been one of the best fantasy receivers throughout most of his career. Uh, but when he came over from the Bears to the Jets, most people expected there to be a significant drop off between even though you know a lot of us don't really have a whole lot of confidence in, in uh, Jay Cutler because he throws so many interceptions. But we still had a lot more confidence in him than we did in Geno Smith. Smith just hasn't looked like a, really even an NFL quarterback, to be completely honest with you, a backup at best. But the Jets have kind of stuck themselves into the situation where they kind of have to start him at this point. Now that he is actually going to be missing the majority of the season, they are going to be turning things over to Ryan Fitzpatrick, it sounds. Fitzpatrick, for all the problems that he has on his own, Honestly, he actually could be better for these wide receivers. I know that sounds crazy, a backup quarterback being better than the starter, but the reality is that Geno Smith was still a developmental project. Ryan Fitzpatrick is somebody that's not going to remain this team's starter going forward. He's not a franchise quarterback. However, like Kyle Orton has been in the past for a couple of teams, including the Broncos, when he had a very big season, uh, it does make sense that there could be decent production here out of Ryan Fitzpatrick within the uh, New York Jets offense. Don't expect Ryan Fitzpatrick to be any sort of a fantasy contributor himself, but given the fact that he is a little bit possibly more accurate than you would get out of Geno Smith, there is a possibility that you might want to bump up Brandon Marshall and even Eric Decker just a little bit. I actually think Eric Decker is one of the best value picks this year in fantasy football. He's currently going in the like 112th overall in ADP according to fantasy football calculator so that's very very low I think he's in the 40s among wide receivers so I mean he's going as a wide receiver four in most most formats people forget that this guy was injured throughout throughout a lot of the season last year and still almost went over a thousand yards and still had five touchdowns in a very very bad New York Jets offense I do expect things to be a little bit better there this year within uh, this new system and not to mention the fact that Ryan Fitzpatrick like I said should just be a little bit more efficient with the ball and hopefully he can get it to Decker a little bit more often. Opposite him, obviously Brandon Marshall is the guy that most people have their eyes on. He's going at a, in a, the mid-60s or so right now on uh, Fantasy Football Calculator ADP. So, you know, you kind of have to look at him as being somebody that is a wide receiver two or possibly a wide receiver three, depending on your type of scoring format and where, you know, people are going to be ending up drafting him. But either way, I think Brandon Marshall also gets a slight upgrade here from the from the move from Geno Smith to Ryan Fitzpatrick we're just going to see possibly more consistent passing out of Fitzpatrick yeah he's going to have his turnovers as well but I just don't think you're going to have the monumental blow up terrible games out of Fitzpatrick that you do out of Geno Smith yeah there might be one where he looks really bad but then the next week he might come back and throw for you know 250 yards and two touchdowns maybe he hits Decker for a touchdown and maybe he hits Marshall for a touchdown then everybody's happy right so uh, I think that's kind of what you're going to get out of Ryan Fitzpatrick a little bit more often than you would out of Geno Smith so therefore I am slightly bumping up both uh, Brandon Marshall and Eric Decker on my fantasy football draft boards and I hope you guys will join me in doing that as well So that's gonna do it for this episode of the fantasy football swagger update show So hopefully you guys are enjoying these little short updates If you are be sure to hit the like button and also give me a comment in the comment section below Let me know if there's anything else you guys have questions about or anything that I can help you with going into your fantasy drafts So thanks again guys hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you again soon